Harry and Meghan are planning to produce a Netflix movie in a bid to firm up their futures in Hollywood after a turbulent few months saw them part ways with music and podcast giant Spotify. It was reported last night. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are said to have bought the rights to the romantic novel Meet Me at the Lake by Carly Fortune, which experts estimate could have cost them up to £3 million. The production will mark their first off-camera project together, in what could be a make-or-break moment for their TV fortunes. Meet Me at the Lake, which sold 37,000 copies in its first week alone, is a romantic fiction based on two people who kindle a romance with one another in their 30s, much like the Duke and Duchess themselves. It also describes the trauma faced by a character who lost a parent in a car crash as a child, and goes on to cover themes including alcohol and drug use. Topics which the prince talked about at length in his bombshell memoir Spare. And in a nod to Meghan's past, the novel is based in Toronto, where the actress lived while filming Suits. An insider told The Sun. The themes of the book gripped the couple and it was chosen for their first adaptation with Netflix. The project comes after the couple lost their reported £16 million deal with Spotify after one series of Megan's podcast archetypes. But the purchase of the rights will do Harry and Meghan little imminent good, because Hollywood has all but grind to a halt due to a screenwriter's strike that has lasted for months, which many actors have joined. Some PR experts have also questioned why the rights were sold to the couple, arguing the book was such a success, it would likely have been picked up by more experienced producers. Since leaving the life of working royals, the couple have caused controversy over their international hit Netflix series Harry and Meghan, and Prince Harry's later release of his memoir Spare. Both made a string of accusations against the royal family, most notably Harry's brother, the Prince of Wales. In one passage, the Duke of Sussex accused Prince William of attacking him at Frogmore Cottage, pushing him so hard that he fell to the floor and into a dog bowl. Despite knowing that royal life was not a world they wanted for their family, as a friend has claimed, Harry and Meghan have faced some hard realities since they left to bring up their children away from the limelight of the firm. Having signed major multi-million pound deals with giants Netflix and Spotify, as well as Harry's own book deal, they have since faced hurdles including the loss of the Spotify partnership. Megan hosted a series of her archetype podcast on the platform, but it has not been renewed by the streaming service and the couple announced in June they had mutually agreed to part ways. They have also struggled to break into Hollywood, despite Meghan's background as an actress in the hit series Suits. Although their docuseries Harry and Meghan was watched extensively all over the world, experts say their brand is a tricky one to sell, due to the drama surrounding them raising clients' expectations.
but Harry is currently working on a series based around the Invictus Games, which he set up as an opportunity for ex-service people to compete in sports in a similar way to the Paralympics or Commonwealth Games. Heart of Invictus is expected to be released on Netflix later this year. Their foundation Archwell has also hit some bumps in the road, with multiple staff members previously quitting the organization, leaving multiple roles for the couple to try and fill. The pair are also losing friends after reportedly falling out with Posh and Bex over allegations denied by the Beckhams that stories about the royal couple had been leaked to the press. Losing the Beckhams could be problematic for Harry and Meghan as experts in the U.S. explain celebrities are keen to distance themselves from the melodramatic couple. Celebrity publicist Mitchell Jackson told The Times on Friday night, The problem with Harry and Meghan is after the whole car chase thing in New York. People just feel like they're untrustworthy and melodramatic and it's just going to revolve around them. American producer and journalist Paula Froelich added that celebrities do not want to endanger their chances of international success by appearing to pick sides in the royal feud. Citing the number of celebrities who have ambitions of conquering both the UK and US box offices with films or plays, she said, Nobody wants to be seen as taking sides and nobody wants to be seen as friends of Harry and Meghan. Because then it's felt that Kate and William will likely not show up. Ms. Froelich explained that the Prince and Princess of Wales' ability to draw international coverage means most Hollywood stars hope they will attend a premiere in London. Representatives for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been contacted for comment.